So in this part, which is part seven, we're going to work on making it reactive based on what we do. As you can see here, as we click on this, here it doesn't work, but above it does. So how can we do this? Let's scroll down here to our plugin block here, the HTML legend plugin block. And then in here, we have here the for each item. So we have here all the appending of everything. So what we want to make sure it will happen before we append anything. So what I'm going to do here now is start looking at the first item. So I'm going to say here, I want to make it a clickable item. So I'm going to say here for the list item, and we say here dot, and let me just put in here, we say on click effect. So for the list item, I want to add a on click effect. So I'm going to say li on click. And the reason why li, because I want to make sure that every specific button here or, or element that we click on will be triggering anything here. So that makes all sense, of course. So we say here on click. And then what I want to say here, this is the functionality. So when we click on this, what will happen? So we're going to say, first of all, a object destructuring, and this is for the type, will be equal to chart.configuration, basically giving us access into the configs of the chart. And the configs of the, char of the chart is this here, which basically pushes us into here. So we have all these other items here. Anyway, doesn't matter. What we want to do here is the following. Uh, what is the item we need here? I guess it's the type and what the type refers to here is are we or is this chart a donut chart or a pie chart? If not, do not do whatever it's supposed to or do not trigger any effect. So this is like a extra protective mechanism. So I'm going to say in here, if type equals strict, the pie chart or type equals strict donut chart. If that is the case, what I want to do is I want to trigger the following here. In the chart, I'm going to use a function here, toggle the data visibility. And then in here, we need to get the index number. So how do we get the index number? Well, luckily, well, let's put in here zero first. If I refresh, do we see anything here? Not yet. All right. But the index number here, we can extract as well. If we do a console log and say item, because we have, it. we are still in the for each loop item. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, there we are. So refresh. And what I need to know is if I click on this one, it should be index number zero, as you can see here. Beautiful. So I can just say here, item dot index very simple just grab that item here so if i save this refresh and i click now it still does not work the reason why it doesn't work is we need to update the chart because here again when will we trigger it after an update this will be triggered again and again and again so what i'm going to do here i'm going to say here i guess uh, we can do it in here let's say here chart dot update save refresh so if i do something here there we are absolutely phenomenal so this works but of course what we want to do as well is when i click on this why is this not being strike true or anything else so what i want to do here is just put in an else so we're going to do first an else we're going to check here if it is not we have to do something else. So basically we're going to say here, chart dot set data visibility. And here, what we're going to do here is we're going to grab again here, the item, I guess, dot data set index, which is the index number of the item. But I'm expecting here, we're only dealing with one specific data set. So what I want to do here then is um, the index. There's a comma if it's not the chart dot is data set visible. And what this does, let's see here. Let's put that in here. Uh, 
as you can see here it still does nothing however this here is necessary well, I have this in my notes, to be honest, I don't understand why we'll be needing this. Or at least I don't see right now the, the logic of it. Probably it is somewhere with the click effect and then redraw with the strike through. However, the strike through is not working. So I'll just leave this in here and maybe I'll get back to this once I know why we have this. Anyway, don't worry about it. What we do need is uh, designing our color I do notice that one thing we're missing in our text and that is do we have a strike through text yes or no so let's put that in here so I'm going to say here our text container and our text container will say style dot text decoration decoration and what we're going to do here is remember we have the hidden item let me just show you that. If I say console law, then we'll take it back to item. If we open up one, we see here hidden, false, or true. And if we go back here, uh, this is number six. I need to have index. Now it's hidden equals true because this is index zero. So we have this information, and I want to make sure that if it is uh hidden in that case text decoration will be with a strike true so we're going to say here item dot hidden if that is the case line through i want to say strike true but that is in the canvas so we're going to say here line through that's for css basically and else we just do the default let's double check if this works click on that there we are, it doesn't update yet. Uh, let's see the reason why. It might be that this effect here could be our issue. I'm not sure. So what I'm going to say here, save that, refresh. And then if I do that, all right, interesting. So I am probably missing something. So I'm going to have to cross check this quickly. All right, after a very quick check, I am just misspelled this word. So I'm thinking about thoughts, but of course thoughts enters a T, but the R is because of true here. This is no T at the very end. My bad, very sloppy mistake. Anyway, once I did this, we have our working model that looks absolutely phenomenal. So we have this now, and I think we can just remove this. As you can see, if I click on this, they're both cor correlating. So what I want to do here now is just remove the legend. I'm going to say here now we can say this one will be false and padding I think 20 is more than enough. There we are. Alright, so the next video we need to make sure that when we hover over this, we have this offset hover effect triggered as well.